Impedance is the last spec you're going to want to check, but don't get too hung up on that one either. Headphones range in impedance from about 8 to 600 ohms. That's the measurement that's used, an ohm. Now, think of impedance like a pipe of water. A larger pipe needs a higher volume of water at the same time, but it moves at a lower pressure. Whereas a small pipe needs less water in the pipe at one minute, but it moves at a much higher pressure. The same goes for headphones. High impedance headphones need a lot of current, but less voltage. And lower impedance headphones need more voltage, but much less current. Now, 90% of headphones are efficient enough to run on the voltage provided by smartphones, laptops, music players, etc. But not many headphones that require excessive current can be powered by a mobile device. In English, please? Yeah, okay. Headphones with an impedance of 8 to 32 ohms qualify as low impedance and will work well on just about every mobile device, be it an MP3 player, an iPhone, a laptop, etc. Okay? Now, headphones with an impedance of over 100 ohms are considered to be high impedance and they're not going to work well on hardly any mobile device. Okay, Between 32 to 100 ohms is somewhat of a gray area. There are some devices that can power headphones in this range, but others cannot. For example, the iPhone is not very good at powering uh, stuff around or above 60 ohms. Now, if you plan on using headphones with your mobile device, you're better off just finding headphones with a lower impedance. Now, it's important to understand that low impedance does not make a headphone inferior. In fact, the Denon D5000s that I have on my head right now, they're $700 headphones, have a very low impedance. It doesn't mean that they're bad, they're actually really, really good headphones. And in fact, most newer audiophile headphones are being manufactured with low impedance so that they can be used with mobile devices if the purchaser ever wanted to. This video is a series and consists of several different parts. Select the video that you'd like to watch and click on the corresponding annotation. If you're on a mobile device, you'll be unable to click the annotations and thus the links to the other videos are provided in the video description below.